Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 What does guillotine refer to in legislative parlance? 1 In legislative parlance, guillotine means to bunch together and fast track the passage of financial business. 2 It is a fairly common procedural exercise in Lok Sabha during the passage of the Acts. 3. Once the house is done with debates, the speaker applies the guillotine and all outstanding demands for grants are put to vote at once. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. The answer is B. It is a fairly common procedural exercise in Lok Sabha during the budget session. After the budget is presented, Parliament goes into recess for about three weeks, during which time the House Standing Committees examine demands for grants for various ministries and prepare reports. After Parliament reassembles, the Business Advisory Committee, BAC, draws up a schedule for discussions on the demands for grants. Given the limitation of time, the House cannot take up the expenditure demands of all ministries, therefore, the BAC identifies some important ministries for discussion. Question to consider the following statements. 1. Unlike Project Tiger, Project Elephant looks at the welfare and health of captive elephants as well. 2. India is home to 20% of the global captive Asian elephant population, but a census of captive elephants is not done regularly. 3. Project Elephant was launched in 1972 as a centrally sponsored scheme with an aim to protect elephants and improve their habitat and corridors, reduce human-elephant conflict, and ensure their welfare. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is A. Project Elephant was launched in 1992 as a centrally sponsored scheme with an aim to protect elephants and improve their habitat and corridors, reduce human-elephant conflict and ensure their welfare. The last census was done in 2018. Assam has the second largest wild elephant population in India. It also has a large number of captive elephants. Question 3 with reference to Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana, consider the following statements. 1. The aim is to safeguard the health of women and children by providing them with clean cooking fuel LPG so that they don't have to compromise their health in smoky kitchens or wander in unsafe areas collecting firewood. 2. This was launched by Prime Minister on 1st May 2016 in Surat, Gujarat. 3. Ensuring women's empowerment, especially in rural India, the connections will be issued in the name of women of the households. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is B. This was launched by Prime Minister on 1st May 2016 in Balia, Uttar Pradesh. The subsidy under the government's flagship scheme is credited directly to the bank accounts of the eligible beneficiaries. Question 4 with reference to the radioactive tsunami, consider the following statements. 1. The North Korean military deployed the weapon system dubbed Hyle or Tsunami, which is capable of setting off a super-scale destructive wave. 2. An underwater nuclear drone that is capable of unleashing a radioactive tsunami which could destroy enemy naval vessels and ports. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 2 only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 The answer is C. Question 5 with reference to a digitized claim settlement module DigiClaim recently launched 
कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट वन अंडर द प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना पी एम एफ बी वाई टू दिस विल हेल्प फार्मर्स रिसीव द डिस्बर्स अमाउंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली लाइक इन द केस ऑफ पी एम किसान थ्री इट हैज बीन मेड ऑपरेशनल इन ऑल स्टेट्स विद अ डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ एक्चुअल ट्रांसफर ऑफ क्लेम्स इन बैंक अकाउंट ऑफ बेनिफिशियरी फार्मर्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग गिवन अब इज आर करेक्ट ए वन एंड टू ओनली बी वन एंड थ्री ओनली सी वन टू एंड थ्री डी टू ओनली आंसर इज ए इट हैज बीन मेड ऑपरेशनल इन सिक्स स्टेट्स विद अ डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ एक्चुअल ट्रांसफर ऑफ क्लेम्स इन बैंक अकाउंट ऑफ बेनिफिशियरी फार्मर्स क्वेश्चन सिक्स विद रेफरेंस टू एबल प्राइज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट वन लुईस कैफरली सेवेंटी फोर has won the 2023 abel prize for his seminal contributions to regularity theory for nonlinear partial differential equations including free boundary problems and the monjampier equation to first awarded in 2003 the abel prize recognizes pioneering scientific achievements in mathematics three it is named after sweden's mathematician niels henrik abel 1802 1929 who in his short life made pioneering contributions in a multitude of fields which of the following given above is our correct a 1 and 2 only b 1 and 3 only c 1 2 and 3 d 2 and 3 only the answer is a it is named after norwegian mathematician niels henrik abel 1802-1929, who in his short life made pioneering contributions in a multitude of fields. It is often considered to be an equivalent of the Nobel Prize, which does not have a category for mathematics and has been modeled as such. The prize includes a monetary award of 7.5 million kroner, roughly $720,000. and a glass plate designed by Norwegian artist Henrik Hagen it is awarded by the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters on behalf of the Ministry of Education question 7 consider the following statements about omunmuya recently in news one in 2017 omunmuya became the first observed interstellar object to zip through our solar system and its appearance sparked questions scientists are still trying to answer to the object similar in shape to a cigar or a pancake was the size of an asteroid and moved in a somewhat comet like way but lacked a cometary tail which of the following given above is are correct a one only b two only c both one and two d neither one nor two The answer is C. Astronomers used telescopes around the world to watch the interstellar visitor for 4 months before it became too faint to observe. But Oumuamua didn't neatly fit the proposed scenarios. The object most resembled an asteroid, but space rocks like asteroids move due to gravity. Oumuamua was accelerating as it moved, which would require more than just gravity. The object appeared to be pushed like comets are when they near the sun and the evaporation of their gas and dust by the sun's heat causes a propulsive effect. The force of the ejected material also slightly alters the trajectory of comets distinguishing them from asteroids and planets as they orbit the sun. However, Oumuamua didn't look like a comet nor did it have a tail or an envelope of gas and dust. called the coma that all comets have question 8 consider the following statements about international liquid mirror telescope ilmt one it is a 4 meters telescope in uttarakhand two it is the first liquid mirror telescope for astronomy in the world three largest liquid mirror telescopes in world which of the following given above is are correct a one and two only B 1 and 3 only C 1 2 and 3 D 2 and 3 only 
The answer is A. Largest liquid mirror telescope in Asia. The telescope uses mercury elements to employ as a reflective and mirror surface. The element is rotated along with the axis of the telescope and this rotation makes rotational force which makes the light focus on it by which the telescope can see light coming from the universe. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.